Hey guys, Makeup by Mario here. I'm here with Kim Kardashian. We're gonna be showing you how to do some Kim contour. Kim Kardashian West. Sorry, we're here with Kim Kardashian West and we're gonna be showing you how to do some contouring with cream and powders from the contour queen herself. The contour king. Thank you. So, we already have a base on her face. Um, if you see on this side, we already started contouring the cheeks, so I'm gonna continue now on the other side. I'm using the Tom Ford Shade and Illuminate in number one. You wanna go right along the hollow of the cheeks, suck in your cheekbones. Right along the hollow, right there. Now, there's a little rule for contouring. You wanna do the shape of a three on the face here. You wanna contour on the forehead along the hairline. You don't want to go too low because that's going to really shorten the forehead. And then we're going to continue along the jawline. So you see the shape of the three here? Now keep in mind when you're contouring, if you have a shorter or smaller forehead, you really don't want to put too much contour on your forehead because that's going to make it smaller. Um, a lot of times I always recommend, especially for women just going to work or to school, uh, just contouring your cheeks is good enough, especially for an everyday look. I'm also taking now the contour and I'm applying it along the sides of her nose, connecting it up to the brow there. Now what this does here is it's making the nose a lot thinner. It's, a, it's pushing in the sides of the nose. If you want the nose to shorten, you're gonna put some contour here below the nose as well. I'm going to now use a beauty blender. It's damp and squeezed out and I'm gonna start blending that contour just to get rid of any lines. See now how it looks a lot more natural? It looks like a natural hollow of the cheek rather than a line. I'm gonna do the same thing along the forehead. I'm just gonna blend this cream product so that it really melts into the skin and so that I don't see any harsh lines. Contouring with creams also could work uh, better for people with very dry skin. And I'm going to blend the contour on the nose as well. I'm gonna take a little bit of a concealer. This one is the Secret Camouflage. If you want to make the contour look more intense, you can also do a line right across the bottom, right below the hollow of the cheek. And I'm gonna highlight the cupid's bow as well with a little bit of concealer. Using a damp, a damp beauty blender, again, I'm going to blend that cream concealer now. So what this is doing now is really just thinning out the nose. It's making it thinner. And it's pushing it up just a little bit. I'm gonna blend that line that I just drew underneath there so it blends in with her skin more. I'm gonna just set her face now all over with a loose translucent powder. You can, what this is doing now, it's setting that cream contour in place so that it doesn't slide around the face. I'm going to now use a powder contour. It has uh, three contour shades and it has three highlighting shades. I'm gonna use the first shade here. Just go over what I did with the creams with a very little bit of product. You want to start with very little, you can always add more, but it's very hard to take away once you put a lot of product on. I'm going to do the same thing with the leftovers on the brush and just go along her jawline. But the key to making it really flawless and not look uh, very heavy in person is to just really blend and use very little bit of product and then adding more product and blending more product. I'm going to go a little bit down the neck here too. I'm going to contour her nose now. I always like to use a lighter color when contouring the nose, so I'm gonna use this middle shade here called Fawn. Apply it very gently to the sides of her nose. I'm going to highlight uh, the bridge of her nose now using this color on the top right here. It's kind of like a pearlescent vanilla-ish highlight. And I'm gonna apply that just to the bridge of her nose with a small shadow brush and a little bit to the cupid's bow of the lip using the same shade, turn this way. I'm going to now apply a little bit of that highlight right to her cheekbone. Again, the same thing with the highlighter when you're using powders, you wanna use very little bit to start with and then you wanna build on after. I'm kind of blending it with the brush as I'm applying it. And then you can take a clean brush afterwards and just blend everything that you just applied. And there you have it, a very simple and quick way to contour and highlight using creams and powders. This should take you no more than five minutes.